All right, this video is an open challenge to the idea that the fuel of human brain evolution was meat and game and various animals that we caught and ate. Um, the going theory is that animals, eating animals made us human, is what made our brain grow, and I say that is not true. If you look at the evidence, it becomes overwhelmingly not true, and I say it was a very small fraction, if anything. So it all started about four million years ago at um, when our brain size was about the same, our predecessor's brain size was about the same as a chimpanzee at 400 milliliters. And so what happened is it just started growing. It's, it over doubled in size over the next 2 million years. So from 4 to 2 million years, it, it went to 900 milliliters. So 400 to 900, that's over, over doubling in size. And through this whole period, we didn't have any hunting tools. Toward the end of that, we got simple stone tools, as you can see in this, this chart. And that just wouldn't have done anything. There wouldn't have been enough for us to actually get a reliable source of calories from animals. Yet our brain increased dramatically, probably the most dramatic increase in brain size of any animal ever in the history of the Earth that we know about, at least. And if you look at that, um, some people might say, oh, well, we persistent hunted. We, we chased animals down to exhaustion, and, and that's what what gave us the calories, but my response to that is no. The the idea of once once you kill an animal before you had any preservation techniques, it would have been, you know, 30,000 calories if you get a boar, but it would have been for about a day, and then, you know, we didn't have any salt, didn't have any fire, we didn't have anything like that, just wouldn't have worked. And then um, about a million years later, when our brain size was a thousand milliliters, we discovered fire. And so this is where people would go, oh, it was barbecue every day, et cetera. And, and that's where the next increase in brain happened, brain size happened. But this is where some scientists say that it was actually starch, our ability to digest starch, that, that got us so far. So um, Nathaniel Dominey, for example, who's a Dartmouth professor, says, quote, if you can digest starch, you can live almost anywhere except Antarctica. And his idea, his theory is that with the increased intelligence, we were able to seek out tubers with the increased ability to digest starch, all those things. And that is pretty consistent with, with populations. If you actually look at pretty much every human population, you find that they're fueled by starch. And so it makes sense that that would happen before agriculture as well, and just in a different way. And so this is, this is where it, it almost becomes laughable that it took us until 500,000 years ago, 400 to 500,000 years ago, to invent hunting tools. That's like a sliver on the end of the whole brain growth spectrum. Like, it's, it's just this little addendum on the end. And so it, it just, it was a tiny fraction of brain growth since then. And so we did, I don't know, 80, 90% 80, of our brain growth before we had hunting tools. So that's very simple right there. It becomes a little bit more obvious that that meat didn't play as big of a role as people wish it did. And also, if you look at various populations that are still hunter-gatherers, for example, the Tarahumara, who are extremely good runners, they get 2% of their calories from animals. You can find that study online. I'll, I'll post a link to it. Another one is um, the aboriginals. When people went, instead of the aboriginals, before many Europeans were there, they found that about 95% of their food was plant food collected by the women. And yet there's still this like mental, this, there's this sort of male fantasy of, oh, I'm hunting and providing everything and, and meat, 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 and I'm such an amazing hunter and so manly. But in reality, if you, if you really were to just crunch the numbers and, and realize that because we need a reliable calorie source to sustain brain growth, it just wouldn't have been, which just wouldn't have been possible with meat, especially for the first 80 to 90%. All right, I just wanted to end this by saying uh, feel free to fact check anything I just presented. Feel free to challenge, bring in any other anthropologists' theories and see how they stand up. I'll, feel, I'll try to respond to that and see what, see what comes of that. And thank you for watching.